Are you the type of person that really gets a kick out of helping others? It could be something as small as helping your mum hang out the washing or going shopping with your grandparents. Well, what if I told you you could turn that passion for brightening someone's day into a career as a disability support worker? Now, if that's got your attention, sit tight because I'm going to help you find out just what they do. Disability workers provide care and emotional support to people who require assistance with daily living. They help people living with physical or intellectual disability with anything from their mobility, personal hygiene and general household chores, to arranging social activities and providing them with friendship and companionship. Disability workers cater to the needs of the people being supported, which can vary depending on whether the disability is intellectual or physical. Hey, Steve. Hey, Rebecca, how are you on? Yeah, good. I've got some questions about what it's like to work in disability support. Can you help me out? Yeah, I can do that. Let's go chat. Sweet. So, Steve, as a disability support worker, what kinds of people do you assist? So, I work with a different variety of people with disabilities. So, we've got a few that have cerebral palsy, because that's what we specialise in. But then we've also got people with just different variations from learning difficulties, mental disabilities, some people who have just been in accidents. So, it really does vary. And why is it important for people with intellectual and physical disabilities to have this kind of care? What I've noticed with this job, it actually really gets them to experience life. I think if we left them aside on the wayside, they would miss out on a lot. I know we have a few of the guys that I've got. It's really given them more than just an experience of going out. It's now given them a life, a group of friends, a community that they know. Why did you decide to get into disability support? Um, I got made redundant actually from my old job as a teacher's aide. My auntie gave the opportunity for this job so I jumped at it. Love it ever since. Never looked back? No, it's four years now and it's awesome. So take us through a typical day. What do you get up to? So typical day I go to work, get my bus, because most of my guys need to be transported in a special vehicle. So I'll get them and then we'll go pick them up. Then we usually go to a set program or take them to work on their own particular goals. So that will take up probably most of the morning, even into the afternoon. So we'll do that, we'll go out, have a fun day, do whatever they're working on, which is really cool. And then we'll have lunch together. Again, getting them involved with the community and getting them interacting. And then towards like three, four o'clock, start getting them home because their day's done like us. Now, all jobs have challenges. What yeah. would be some of them in this line of work? Again, I'd job that can vary because our guys are all different but I think it does have a lot of the normal challenges at normal jobs. Some people can be frustrating, clients, staff, people. It's just how it is. You get in the community, some days are just rough and then with our guys there are certain issues they may have in their self like they come with a disability and that can sometimes pop up and we just need to be ready for it. So that's the challenges that really come with it so we need to be ready to face it. And what would you say the most rewarding part of your job is? The people that I work with really accomplish their goals. So seeing them get involved with the communities around them and no longer the stigma of, of a disability or whatever being there, they're now a part of a community, a real privilege to be a part of. What characteristics do you think are best suited in this job? You have to be compassionate about people, you have to love people because when it's about people you will really see the reward in this job because they're people just like us. That is the reward of just being with them. All right Steve, now it's time to give us the edge. You ready? I'm ready. All right. What steps does somebody need to take to become a disability support worker? I'd recommend people getting the Cert 3 and Cert 4 in aged care and disability it would help a lot. And what advice would you give to somebody looking to start this job? Be prepared just knowing that each day is going to be different but it's going to be awesome. And if you could do one thing differently but still end up where you are today, what would it be? Well, I'll probably actually get into the job earlier. It's awesome. I love it. Great. Well, thank you so much for having a chat with me today, Steve. It's been heaps of fun. Shall we uh, spin out? I think we should. Let's do it. <laughs> Authorised by the Government of Western Australia, Perth, 